Bill and Ben were sent to the wharfs where they joined Thomas, Percy, and Patriot. So Tom Hat was not pleased to hear about what had happened, and he spoke severely to Buddy. Five engines damaged in just uh, how many? Three days? All due to one engine's uncontrollable multiple personality disorder, says to Tom Hat crossly. Look, sir, I'm really sorry, said Buddy. I'm able to control it on the mainland, but when I'm somewhere different, that's kind of a different story. Well, if you can't learn to control it here, says the top hat, I'll have to send you back and get a different engine to take your place. And your top hat walked away. Buddy felt terrible. He had been brought to the island to help, and all he was doing was making a mess of things. As Buddy was going across the Solar Bay Bridge, he suddenly stopped. He could see something up ahead. Buddy could see Bear approaching Nafford Junction. Buddy could also see Logan, who was taking parts to the works. And he and Bear were going to crash into each other if someone didn't warn them. Just then, Buddy's singing personality kicked in. And he quickly raced up the hill, and he started to sing. Look out, look out, Logan, stop right there. Look out, look out, you're going to crash into Bear. Bear and Logan stopped just in time. Bear were first out of the way, and Logan passed by on the other line. Thanks, buddy, cried Logan as he went past. That could have been rather nasty. Well, what do you know, said Buddy. My multiple personalities disorder actually did some good instead of bad. And Buddy continued on his way. The next day, Gator was puffing up the mountain with a goods train. Down below, Buddy was bringing old slow coach to Nafford Station. When Gator reached the top of the mountain, he was greeted by Ernest. Evening Ernest, said Gator, where would you like these cars? Uh, just pull him further up. Daisy's gonna be coming in and we need to clear the junction for her to get in. Gator began to move forward, but just then the truck gave him a huge bump and he fell off the bend. The truck then broke the cup and began to roll backwards. No, 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 cried Ernest. Buddy was down below at Nafford when he saw the truck getting ready to go down the mountain. Uh-oh, that's not good, said Buddy. Buddy could also see Daisy coming up the mountain from the other direction. Just then, Buddy's superhero personality kicked in. He uncoupled from old slow coach and raced up the hill. But he was going so fast, when he reached the top of the bridge, he went flying off the track to infinity and... Ah! And the trucks went flying off the rails. The guard had luckily jumped clear just before the trucks had rolled down the mountain. Just then Daisy came down the line and she stopped just in time. Stafford then came out of the quarry mine tunnel with the breakdown train. And he stopped to clean up the mess. As Buddy was being loaded onto the flatbed, Sir Topham had arrived in his car. I know, sir. Before you say anything, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to cause an accident, but Gator's trucks had broken away in. Now, Buddy, says the Tom Hat, there's no need for an apology. It seems you managed to get your p multiple personality disorder to do some good instead of bad. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I said the other day, said Buddy. 
Stafford, you may take him to the works, says Tom Hatton. Right away, sir, says Stafford. He backed up and went down the other line and took Buddy to the works. A few weeks later, Paxton returned from the mainland. The engines had been repaired and the track had been fixed, just in time for Paxton to return home after helping out the mainland to produce a movie. Thanks for helping out while I was gone, said Paxton. Paxton moved out of the way and Buddy began to puff away. He was just about to go over the drawbridge when he stopped. Just one question before I go, said Buddy. Who's your buddy? I beg your pardon, said Thomas. Just then, Caitlin pulled up. That's just a question he likes to ask, she said. He asks it to make sure he's made new friends. Oh, okay, said Percy. Well, you're a buddy, buddy. That's what I like to hear, said Buddy. And the engine saw watched as the orange tank engine with multiple personality disorder puffed away over the drawbridge back onto the mainland.